So if you guys have ever been wondering what Aspen's favorite toy is, I bought this thing at a Winners, and it's a little Triceratops. And you can see she's already um, destroyed the fringe on it, and I had to sew it back up. And she had like a huge hole, like gaping hole in there that I had to sew up. But this thing, for the past year and a bit, she gets tucked in at night with it. She loves it, she knows the name of it, and she goes and fetches it. What? You want it? <laughs> All right, hey everyone. So this is kind of my old filming vibe. I'm in my, um, my old room. I just wanted to give you guys a video that a lot of people have been asking for over and over again. I get questions about what's the difference between an Australian Shepherd and a Border Collie. So that's really what we're gonna be talking about. So first things first, I thought we could talk a little bit about the history of each breed. So I'm gonna start out with a Border Collie. And these dogs, I think, for the majority of people, they know that they come from the UK. So um, primarily from Scotland and Wales. So the whole history behind this breed is really interesting and it actually dates back to the Roman Empire. When Romans came into Britain, they brought their livestock and along with this livestock, they brought their herding dogs. Hundreds and hundreds of years later, after the Romans had entered into Britain and all of that happened, we see Vikings coming into Britain. And along with the Vikings, they also brought their own dogs. And these were a Spitz type dog. They were much smaller. And they actually bred these dogs along with the Roman herding dogs. And eventually that created a dog that was very well adapted to high hills and rocky regions, which is characteristic of Wales and Scotland. And that gave rise to the Border Collie. So the Australian Shepherd actually has roots back in Europe as well. So even though the name Australian Shepherd implies that they started in Australia, it really didn't happen that way. Um, so these dogs originated with the Basque people in a region called the Pyrenees Mountains. I'm assuming I'm saying that correctly because there's a Pyrenees dog but I'm not sure, so I could be saying it completely incorrectly. Um, but this is a region of Europe and the Basque people were very well known for being herders. And eventually these people decided to make their way to a brand new land that was promising a lot of um, land for livestock, and that was Australia. So there were a lot of dogs already in Australia um, that British people had brought, including the Border Collie. And when the Basque people got to Australia, they decided that they were going to refine their dogs and they bred them to these herding breeds from the UK. And so Border Collie was actually introduced into the Australian Shepherd line. So an Aussie is really this mix between Border Collie and other British type herding breeds along with the classic Basque dog. So then the Basque people moved on to the New World, specifically California. And this was when this whole movement of the Wild West was starting and cowboy culture was really taking roots in California. And this dog became the classic cowboy culture dog. They were used heavily with cattle farming and to drive cattle. Um, they were involved with rodeos a lot. And the whole reason why they were named the Australian Shepherd was because people in the Americas assumed that when the Basque people came from Australia, that these dogs were Australian dogs. Therefore, they were named Australian Shepherds. All right, so now we know a little bit more about the background of each breed. Um, the next thing I'm going to address is appearance and these dogs, although they may look similar from far away, they actually do have a few differences that set them apart. So the first thing is weight. Now, the Border Collie is gonna be a bit smaller than the Australian Shepherd. A Border Collie is more um, of a thinner dog, more 
delicate dog than an Australian Shepherd, which is a bit more stocky. So a Border Collie is gonna be roughly between 12 to 20 kilograms versus an Australian Shepherd that can range all the way up to 32 kilograms. However, they are very similar when it comes to the actual size of the dog. So these dogs are also gonna have very similar lifespans. They're gonna be roughly between 10 to 15 years. On top of that, the grooming requirements are gonna be very similar, although Border Collies might have a bit more grooming requirements than an Australian Shepherd. And the reason for that is because they can have slightly different coats. So both dogs are double-coated breeds, which means you are going to deal with a lot of shedding um, but the coat itself can be a bit more rough with a border collie which means that sometimes it requires a bit more raking of the undercoat out so it can take a little bit more time to groom a border collie however both are going to require that you um, remove undercoat that they have regular brushing all right so for the different types of coats that you can get with an australian shepherd and a border collie um, you can get more variation in coats in border collies so australian shepherds tend to be the black and red tries as well as the red merle and blue merle whereas um, it's much more common to see buys in border collies so the classic black and white is what you see a lot you can see red buys you can see merles as well um, there's just more coat variations in border collies that are available so one thing that australian shepherds are going to have more than border collies is they're more prone to something called heterochroma so this is when you have different colored eyes so like one brown eye and one blue eye or you can have different like speckles of brown and blue and they're more prone to that though border collies can have this as well especially in the merle border collies all right so now that we know history and a bit about appearance of the two breeds let's talk about behavior so these guys are both herding breeds which means that most likely you're going to have to deal with some behaviors that are common in herding breeds so if you have small children both australian shepherds and border collies are going to tend towards wanting to herd your children so another similarity that you're going to see between australian shepherds and border collies is that both are highly highly intelligent these dogs score very highly on the intelligence scales when it comes to all of the breeds of dogs um, but if you're looking for the most intelligent out of the two different tests that have been done people would suggest that border collies are probably one of the if not the most intelligent dog breed that you can get so border collies may actually win out on intelligence when it comes to australian shepherds so one thing that the Australian Shepherd may have an advantage of over the Border Collie is when it comes to energy requirements. So because Border Collies are extremely intelligent, which we've already established, also Australian Shepherds are extremely intelligent, um, they have a drive and an energy level that is off the charts. And so typically an Australian Shepherd is gonna have a slightly lower, slightly lower energy requirement than a Border Collie. So the differences that we see in the breed are very slight. So keep in mind, Border Collies were used as one of the dogs that were bred into Australian Shepherds to make the classic Australian Shepherd that we know and love today. So because the behavior differences are very slight between the two, um, really the only major difference, or I wouldn't even say it's major, um, because it can vary, of course, between each individual animal as well. Um, I would say stems from the way that they herd. Border Collies tend to be a herder that keeps their distance a bit from the animals, whereas Australian Shepherds, we bred them to not only work with sheep, but also work with cattle. Um, so Australian Shepherds do have a bit of stubbornness that we purposefully put into them so that they can stand off with cattle and really you know go face to face with animals that are super stubborn um, and that can sometimes 
relate back into training. So when it comes to people that have never had a dog before, it may be a bit more frustrating to start out with an Australian Shepherd versus a Border Collie. Now both of these dogs are highly energetic. They require a lot more than other breeds. So um, both are gonna be hard work, but an Australian Shepherd may have a bit more of a tendency towards being slightly more stubborn than a Border Collie. These two breeds are near and dear to my heart. I love them and I probably will own a herding breed for the rest of my life. And I hope that this gave you a bit more information that may be helpful in deciding on a future breed for you. So I will see you guys very soon in another video. Take care. Bye.